Let us now explore multi-field lookup values. Uh, in my teacher's table, I'm going to add a new field for uh, subject, which will be the primary subject the teacher teaches. I'm going to make it a short text and a field size of 20. Let me input a couple subjects. If Mr. Monza teaches chemistry, I'm going to put another one. Condom teaches mathematics. I'm going to give it a random date and say he's inactive. Specialty one. And the third one. So now I have teachers' um, subjects assigned to them. I want to look up in the student table. So in the student table, let's go to design. In the student table, I have a new field called supervisor, which is going to store a number. And that number will probably be the teacher ID the teacher ID because the teacher is going to be assigned to each student so once I've updated this teacher I want these three columns to be the free identifying column because if I use the ID as a drop-down I wouldn't know the, the teacher of whom we are referring to and if I use the name as a drop-down there might, might be many teachers with the same name and I can't definitely use subjects because multiple teachers teach the same subject So what I do is in the in the student table, I'm going to go to lookups and say I want a combo box. It should pick from a table or query. The table is going to be the table for teachers. And in the bound column, I'll maintain one, meaning in the teachers table, it should bind itself to the first column. After saying that, the column count, I increase the column count to three, meaning I'm going to be seeing three columns in the drop down list. So let's see how that works. So let's go to data now, data sheet for the student table. And if I go to the right hand side where there is a supervisor, supervisor column, and I click the drop down, I'm seeing three fields pop up. Though the data in this column is going to store only the number one. I can actually choose the right teacher now for this field. If I want to be able to see just the teacher's name, or I want to, be, let, let's first correct this. Let's make the fields wider. Wider. So I let's go back to design. And we can see column widths here. So the first width is the number, so let's make it 0.5 comma. The second width, let's make it 2.5 and the third 2.5. I press enter and centimeters represent these fields. Let's go back to data sheet view. Now if I scroll to my supervisor section and I click on any of the fields, now I can see at least the columns have opened up a little. I should have made the um, teacher list about four centimeters. By the way, now we we have a better feel of which teacher belongs to which two, um, student. Another reason why I store this, I'm storing this as a number, is that the database will get very large if you store text. So whenever you can store a number as a reference to something, it is far better than storing a, a, a number, a, a, a text. Now I can also make the first field zero length. Let's see what that, what that will do. 